Hey everyone, it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have another part of A to Z, so I am doing a voiceover for the very beginning of that. Um, just because, or I guess technically the very first like few clips and we actually hop in to the video. Because I have been very jumpy with this series, but um, at this current point we have birthdays for... Oh goodness, I know it's Baby G and Baby H, but I can't remember names. Gabriel and Hunter? Is it? Something like that. So I promise after this little clip is over that we will be hopping into the regularly, you know, scheduled programming and like voiceover and such. But um, yeah, my... don't know. I don't know why I didn't think to do a voiceover right away whenever it came to this part, but for some reason I didn't. So if you haven't already, please hit that like button down below, subscribe, comment. Um, If you want to leave some like baby names for... I, well, I technically, I, I don't know where we got to in this part. But yeah, like, whenever we get to the end of this part, leave all baby names for all the following letters. Because I'm going to be bulk filming it this weekend to try and get it done. But, um, Ember found out that she's pregnant. And I was really setting a cake here to try and age up somebody else that I cannot remember who it was. Was it maybe Carlisle? I have no idea. But, uh, okay, so I was right on Gabriel, and I know that it was Hunter. But yeah, they aged up two toddlers, and they're very cute. Um, I also have a link down in the description if you're interested in downloading The Sims. Because I am going to be putting them up for download. There's going to be a minimal CC list. So it will have, like, my default skin, my default eyes, and the sliders I use, and that is it. So, because it's going to be way too much to try and do, like, 26 Sims. So... Um, everybody's going ahead and grabbing some cake. I'm gonna go ahead and skip till we actually get- oh, Hunter is still aging up, but I'm going to go ahead and skip. Alright, so it is now Carlisle's birthday, and he was having to age up after them as well, but I wanted to try and save the cake, so I wasn't spending any money. But here we are, and we're just going to go ahead and let him age up. We are officially going to have three teenagers in the house, which is absolutely wild. But I'm also kind of excited about it at the same time. So let's just go ahead and we will wait for him to age up, see what his new trait is. And I also want to go ahead and get started on the toddler's skills as well and teaching them how to talk. That seems to be the one that takes the longest, so I think it might be good to get started on that as soon as possible. But uh, I'm excited to see how many kids we're going to have in this part. Um, alright, so Carlisle aged up. Oh, he's missing. Alright, so the baby is coming. We've officially skipped a few days. Carlisle got a makeover. I gave him an additional treat. And we also have birthdays for the toddlers again since I have finished the skills. So we have Mean Spirited for Gabriel as his third treat. Hunter is now going to go ahead and age up. But we're not having a whole lot of luck when it comes to this randomized treat thing and Mean Spirited. I don't know. I don't love that. But I feel like it's also kind of nice to have a diverse mix of traits in The Sims. So I'm actually kind of having a lot of fun with that as well. But it is actually Snowflake Day today whenever they are aging up, which is kind of cool. They were honestly toddlers for like one day. And then I had finished all of their skills. So toddlers are not lasting long around here, but I'm also okay with that. Because it means we're going to be able to get a move on with things. So her third trait is neurotic. So we have a baby girl, and I'm going to name her Ivy, and she is excitable and a heavy sleeper. Um, okay, so I want to go ahead and check out and see what she is. I don't remember what Marlin was. Maybe a witch. That might have been it. Maybe a witch. But here is baby Ivy, and we are officially getting pretty close to halfway there, which is super exciting. Alright, so we are over here. This is Blanche. He is the university mascot, and I have it turned on. The NPCs are also supernaturals, because I was like, if we're going to be having to see them at all, it would be nice to, like, build up a relationship and possibly use them with, you know, this challenge. So we're building up a relationship here. I don't believe we had to be any more than friends. I'm pretty sure university mascots don't develop relationships. So we can kind of get this one started and get the ball rolling here pretty quickly. So let's just go ahead and queue up all of my little interactions here. Um, the kids had prom, so we have some like 
building up relationships here, though I think Blaze is the only one that did not get a romantic interest, but that is okay. Alistair and Carlisle had a good time, so we're going to go ahead and let these two just keep on flirting over here and trying to queue up their relationship to the best that we possibly can. Um, so I would love to be able to like get her pregnant again and just like keep this rolling because my plan is to have this done on Halloween. And if we are currently only at I, we have quite a while to go because we're not even halfway there. So I should probably mention this might be a little bit of a longer part. So go ahead and grab a snack, grab a drink, get cozy, let's hang out. And um, we'll see how this all kind of, you know, goes and what happens. But I'm going to let everybody, like the teens, go to bed. These two are going to come upstairs and woohoo, we will have to listen for a certain little jingle. Okay, so... They went ahead and woohooed, but now it is Alistair's birthday, so Ember is currently pregnant again, but the thing is, Alistair aging up means that we are officially having a young adult, and I'm going to be kicking the young adults out to go ahead and live their lives, let story progression do its thing, and that is wild to think that we are officially there with a baby one, but he hit on a roll, so we're going to go ahead and try our best with all of that. Um... And then, like, I'll put him up for for up for description. Yes, up for download in the description. Uh, I'm gonna have like a little sim file share folder down there for everybody. So if you want anybody, they're all down there. Just you know, up for download because you guys may as well get something out of it. I'm probably not going to play with any of these Sims. So unless there's like one that like really catches my interest, but I'm not a huge like supernatural fan, which is why a challenge like this is good for me. I'm not saying like I don't like the supernatural sims, it's just I tend to play more like realistic. So, um, Alistair, we're adding a slob to his traits. Alright, so here he is, a little bit of a makeover. He will be in the description if you want him, so go get him if you want. Okay, so we are back and it is now Ivy's birthday, so we're gonna get to see what she looks like. So she's not a fairy. Um, because she doesn't have, like, the sparkles, but I can't remember exactly what she is. I want to say she's a witch. Um, I'm pretty sure she's a witch. I want to say, like, her profile frame is yellow, which I'm pretty sure is a witch. But I'm excited to see what she looks like, because it doesn't look like she's going to be a fellow redhead, like, a fair amount of the sins in this family. Um... I'm going to let Lily go ahead and sniff out some collectibles. She only has some of like the special stuff right now. So we're going to let Ivy age up. I'm going to hop in and start teaching her her skills. We'll probably have another birthday of hers in this part. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see how everything kind of goes with that. But at the same time, I don't know, like I'm excited just to be like working on this challenge. Okay, Ivy aged up and... I think we're gonna go ahead and see if we can invite this guy over because we don't have him as a parent yet. So I just kind of want to start looking on building up relationships, um, which you're going to see me do quite a bit of off camera, but I'm gonna go ahead and put Ivy in the walker if he says yes. And then we don't have to like focus on trying to build up a skill for her. I uh, don't feel it coming over. Okay, never mind. We will go ahead and hop into teaching her how to talk. And I'm probably going to go ahead and skip, do all of this. All right, so we are down here and we have some honor roll students. So currently we have the triplets all on honor roll, which means we're having three birthdays. I'm just going to trigger them with a uh, master controller instead of buying three separate cakes. Just because I find that this is probably going to be the easier option for me with this, I think. Um, also, just as a quick disclaimer, the wind is starting to pick up. I don't believe my mic should pick up on it, but just in case. So, we're just going to go ahead and let... F is this Freya? Twins were D, E, and F, so yes, Freya. So, Freya is aging up first, and then we will also have Dean and Edward, depending on who ages up. But I am honestly, like, so excited to be filming this. It has been a lot of work off camera. So it's nice to have these moments when I'm like sitting here and like actually on camera with you all because I'm spending like six hours in one part lately. So it's been a little wild, but we have a couch potato for Thaya's trait. 
So now we just have to wait and see who is next out of Dean and Edward. But, um... Okay, so it looks like we're hopping over here to Dean. I honestly don't know why it did Freya first. But, you know, it's not too big of a deal, technically. So we're gonna go ahead and let Dean age up. So I think, if I remember correctly, so Dean and Freya are vampires, and Edward's a fairy. Because I remember I was like, oh, it's ironic that Edward's a fairy based on his namesake. What do we have for the treat? Treat, not a treat. Supernatural fan, he's missing one. I will randomize it and add one in. So I have no idea what the extra treat is meant to be. So I promise you, whenever they up for download, if we get to that, we will have all the traits that are required. But okay, so we're gonna go ahead and let Edward age up now. I'm also, you're gonna notice I'm just like checking traits, just making sure that everybody has the appropriate amount. But for Edward, oh, he's missing one too. Uh, we have vegetarian. All right, so it is now Ivy's birthday. She's very cute. So she's got the little like elf ears as well. Um, catch a fish, sure. I will do quite literally whatever that is going to help improve school performance. So I'm not too worried about that at all. But let's just go ahead and let Ivy age on up. And we should be having the next baby here pretty soon, I believe. So also everybody is uh, coming home from school. But I'm going to try and queue up everyone that has a opportunity with, you know, school performance stuff. Anything that I can do to help age them up quicker, I am taking. So, okay, I think for good, we have a couple of people I have to have go fishing, but I will do that off camera. And we're just going to wait over here for Ivy to age up. Um, all right, so you can come over here and use this really quick while we wait. And then, okay, we're also getting a phone call. Research the supermarket, we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and get her to answer her phone quickly just to see who it is. And um, you need to go ahead and do all of that. Uh, Gabriel wants to go over to... no. Okay. We're not doing terribly. Um, no. I just want to make sure that they're coming home because everybody has like a lot of stuff that's going on. So let's just wait and see Miss Ivy here. Um... Sure. I don't care about a... Okay, there we go. So, Ivy, uh, she's getting the... Let's see. Unlucky tree. Alright, so we just had a baby boy, so we let Jay. So, this is Juno, who is absent-minded and genius. And we have another baby, it looks like. Possibly, yes. Who are we having here? How many? Um... This one's taking a while. I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, so we have a girl who I'm going to name Catherine. Right. And her traits are loves you, doors, and disciplined. Okay, so we over here. She is going ahead and woohooing with this guy, Angel, uh, who we would have seen in the earlier parts. I have built up, built up the relationship, so we are slowly but surely getting somewhere. I should also mention I have officially turned on... I think it's like a 25% chance for quadruplets because I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I possibly can. So that is where this is leading up to is we are now adding in the chance of quadruplets with master controller or woohooer. Woohooer. And um, I think we heard a jingle there. Alright, so we are aging up Hunter and Gabriel today as well. So... We are going to have some more little teenagers in the house. I didn't realize I put did not put the cake away for that last one. Um, Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and let these two age up. They are officially going to be teenagers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put Hunter up as a ghost fairy. Whenever we get to her being a young adult, I don't know if that's going to work. So, we're adding a light sleeper to her traits. And for Gabriel over here, he's going ahead and aging right on up. And he is getting... Let's see. Um... Evil. Alright, we've had a couple evil sims. So I can't even really say I'm all too surprised. 
Alright, so now it is officially time for Blaze to age up, which means that we are going to be moving out yet another sim as a young adult. So he will also be in the description if you are interested in having him or once he's all like young adulting. Um, Alright, so he is going to go ahead and age up here fairly quickly and then I will be moving him out. Um, honestly, just by, like, kicking him out. And I think Ember is currently also finding out that she's pregnant, considering it just jumped us over here. So, we are having an eventful time. Um, nurturing. Honestly, that makes sense. He was helping out with the babies, like, a lot autonomously. So, that's a very good one for Blaze. I find that to be fitting. And we're gonna do... Let's do... Magic Makeover, because that's the one he has in his panel anyways. Alright, let's hop in. We'll give him a makeover. Alright, so here is Blaze all done with his makeover. He will be in the description if you're interested. So we are officially aging up the twins. So we have Catherine on the left, Juno on the right. And Carlisle has been helping out quite a bit with the babies as well. The teenagers of this family are kind of taking on like a another kind of parental duty for us, which has been so incredibly helpful. Because this many sims is kind of hard to manage, I'm not going to lie. So, we're just going to let them both age up. We're officially going to have some toddlers. And, I guess we just have to see what happens. But, I don't feel too bad. We've had three babies so far this part. We are currently pregnant again. So, we are getting somewhere because I'm aiming for like five per part. Is kind of what I'm thinking. But for me to get that done by Tuesday, we might have to get something done a little bit quicker unless I add a bonus upload. So depending on how this goes, um, there may be some videos over the weekend or like double uploads on Monday. So we shall see. But okay, so Juno has now aged up to a toddler. And we have two little redheads. Alright, so Juno and Catherine have officially learned all of their skills. We are hopping over here and aging them up. And I think it's very cute how one's got like the light fairy wings and the one's got like dark fairy wings. I don't know. I like seeing like the contrast and I don't tend to see a lot of sims with like the super dark wings like this. So it's kind of fun. But we're going to let them age up and see what traits they get here as well. Um, So it looks like Kathleen aged up first. So, we get to give another trait, which I'm just going to randomize anyways. Um, so we're adding... Bot fan. Okay, that's a little different. Not what I would have expected, but I'm not mad at it. So, maybe she'll do, like, some into the future stuff. I don't know. Um, alright, so now we just have to wait for Juno and see kind of what happens here so i have been filming this part by the way like over the course of three days something along those lines so it's been a little bit wild to say the least but it's been a lot of fun so come on juno you can do it not too difficult and we have what let's see um randomize this trait daredevil Alright, so we are over here. She's currently going into labor, so she's heading off to the hospital. Uh, everybody's kind of panicking in the kitchen. Alright, so we have a baby boy, Lucifer. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with that name. And he is clumsy and insane. Alright, so we are over here at the Golden Ticket Toy Shop. Is that what it's called? And I met up with this guy. I think his name's Dustin. And I added the photo booth just so we didn't have to, like, do a whole lot. So, I don't know. They're just they're going to woohoo in the photo booth that's outside that makes no sense that it's here. But I wanted to get away from, like, everybody for a second and let her have some time. So, they're just going to go ahead and woohoo over here instead. Alright. I don't know. I feel like this is wild just to have it, like, randomly placed outside, but... Alright, so we are over here, and we have a bunch of people currently. So, Carlisle and... not Hunter. Uh, Freya, Dean, and Edward all hit on a roll on the same day. So, we are apparently moving four of them out at once. Uh, which is absolutely 
wild. I don't know why Carlisle hit on a little at the same point as them, but uh, we're just going to make sure I don't click on Ember and let all four of these teenagers age up. They will, again, be in the description. So if you are interested in playing with any of them, which, like, Carlisle's really cute. Um, I, I don't know, I feel like he's got, like, a very kind of typical My Sim kind of vibe. But, like, he's a cutie compared to some of these other Sims. Um, okay. So, Carlisle's aging up first. I love the pink wings, I don't know. I feel like they're just so cute. So, for a trait for Carlisle... We are getting nurturing. Again, makes sense. Same reasoning as Blaze. Uh, he helped out with a lot of the babies as well. So it's going to be kind of sad to see him go because, like, the same reasoning with Blaze. Like, they helped out a lot. Uh, we're going to go with... Hmm, let's do International Super Spy. Actually, no. We'll go with the first one. Superstar Athlete. Alright, did his trait save? It did. Perfect. Um, and now we are hopping over here to Dean, who is going to go ahead and age up next. He kind of has that, like, rebellious vibe going on for him, uh, which is one of the traits that I actually gave him, like, randomized whenever one of his traits didn't save. So, we'll let him age up, but it's gonna be such, like, I feel like the house is gonna be so empty, moving out four of the kids at once. Like, that's leaving us with, like, seven sims. It's going to be feeling like a very empty household. So, let's just go ahead and randomize a trait for him as well. And we have Snob. Okay. I feel like he's kind of, like, a difficult sim to get along with. I don't know. Rebellious, Snob, Genius. Um, let's go with Loxel. I feel like that kind of gives some more like the rebellious vibe, so we'll go with that. And who is next? Uh, looks like we are hopping over here to Edward. So at least this time it's like actually doing it in alphabetical order. As you can tell, I have not gave makeovers to Gabriel or Hunter yet. Honestly, I haven't gave makeovers to like anybody. Um, cause the kids also don't have makeovers yet, so... I don't know, I don't feel like there's a point because they age up so quickly that it doesn't matter all too much. But okay, for Edward, we are getting... Okay, natural cook. That's not bad. That's a good trait. He actually has, like, pretty decent traits. I don't know, I feel like he could definitely give, like, chef vibes with, like, the vegetarian natural cook. I don't know, I like his traits. Um, let's actually do that. Let's go ahead and give chef vibes to him. And then last but certainly not least, we have Miss Freya. So we're gonna go ahead and let her age up as well. She was the first girl in this family. And now there's only going to be, well, I guess we have three others. But okay, let's wait for her. Looks like Lily's come to join the party. And we shall see... How this goes for Freya. Alright, so what are we going to get for her trait? Um, flirty. Well, she takes after her mother then because I gave her mom the flirty trait. Alright, we are back and we are currently aging up Lucifer. I have moved the four sims out from the last clip. And the house feels so empty. I'm not even going to lie to you. Like, I feel like I'm having like a way easier time managing it now because it's four less sims but it's also like i don't know it's just it feels very weird to have like such an empty space but lucifer is going to be aging up here which is exciting and i'm still aiming so we've had ivy juno kathleen lucifer so i need at least like one more baby here which she is pregnant so we're just gonna have to get through this pregnancy and then I will probably wrap up this part. I apologize that this series is probably, like, so jumpy. But, like, it is probably one of those ones, like, Ashley and I were talking about this. This would be one of those ones that's good to stream. And it's difficult when it comes to 
actually like creating videos on it because it's so much work just like behind the scenes but okay we're gonna let lucifer age up see what he looks like as a toddler and then i don't know we'll see what we pick up after that um okay is he i don't know i thought i saw ember move for a second there we go all right so we are officially in labor so we have midnight um these this name came from a commenter uh we're adding discipline but this was from oh we have another boy but um amaya left me some comments which i will pop up on the screen but neptune is getting the insane trait oh goodness um oh let's go with odin i feel like that's a decent name i was gonna go with Orion, and i was like that doesn't work um insane okay clumsy and insane and we oh my goodness we had quads okay so this is p um what do i want to name her i can't believe we had quads i'm gonna name her persephone i think that's pretty so that's what we're gonna go ahead and go with and we're adding lona to her traits all right so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did you can hit the like button down below if you want to see some more videos from me, go ahead and subscribe. I post videos typically three to four times a week right now. If you are already subscribed and want notifications for when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that your YouTube notifications are turned on. I also opened my membership, so if you want to go ahead and support that way, hit that join button down below as well. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye lovelies!